So I really appreciate the opportunity to speak with you today at this uh, International Virtual Summit. Um, I was asked to share a few words um, from my volunteer experience um, and the benefits I've derived from a long relationship with IEEE. Um, so that's what I'm going to talk about today. And um, I applaud all of the organizers uh, for putting this event together. It's uh, We live in challenging times and it's good to uh, get together, even though it's virtually. Um, I strongly believe that personal and uh, uh, leadership development uh, are a lifelong journey. Uh, any leadership ability is the sum of the activities and challenges we experience, the opportunities we take, and the goals that we set. It's never too late, you're never too old, um, to take uh, advantage of uh, resources that are available to you to enhance your skill set um, and either change your uh, uh, the course of your journey, um, take your career to the next level, um, or um, to make some changes. So I've had a wonderful career. As you heard, I work for a missile defense agency, but I've worked for a variety of, of jobs, and I've always worked in software and systems development. Um, so I uh, had some interesting uh, jobs. Um, I wouldn't change a thing, and I hope you all will take away some of the joy I've had from a career, a career well spent. Um, but IEEE has been a big part of my career and um, has had a strong influence on um, how successful I've been. So, um, so I wanted to start with this. <clears throat> So for those of us who create technology, um, who love how technologies empower us and improve our lives, um, this is why I support IEEE. I think this is why a lot of us support IEEE. Um, the mission and vision of IEEE help us shape the future of technology um, for the benefit of humanity, right? That's our mission. Um, technology is not an industry. It's a method of transforming culture and um, economies of uh, existing systems and institutions, regardless of gender. Uh, technology is a great equalizer uh, because of the application of your intelligence to solve great problems. Uh, technology is not neutral. Its use changes our lives and the choices developers make can have profound impacts on privacy, security, and even our civil rights as users. Uh, so it's important that developers of technologies be diverse and representative of the populations that they're developing the products for. The people creating technologies are its influencers. Um, a lack of diverse ideas um, and representation could lead to further disparities in gender, class, and race. A community engagement, right, is a powerful technology enabler. And that's what I truly <laughs> Sorry, my dog is barking. Um, that's what technology, uh, that's what IEEE facilitates through its collaborative membership oh. networks and technical communities. Hold on just a minute. I'm going to yell at my dog. Sorry about that, guys. I hope if you have dogs, you'll understand. Um, he's my guard dog. So, all right. So it's important. IEEE really helps the collaborative discussions, uh, the communication, and helps us develop technologies. And that's why I'm a member. All right. So for those of you who are not part of IEEE, um, you know, we always, I join these things and I talk to, to groups and I assume people make assumptions that everybody that's on one of these uh, uh, conferences is a member of IEEE. For those of you who are IEEE members, thank you. I'm honored to be your colleague. For those of you who are not, um, I hope that this um, uh, summit can provide some insight into what IEEE does, um, what it can do for you and what we can accomplish together. I've been a member for um, over 25 years, but I was a volunteer for IEEE for three years before I became a member. So you can participate in IEEE, um, you can do a lot with IEEE without actually being a member, right? 
Um, uh, but IEEE is the world's largest professional society. It serves all of those working in technology. It's designed to serve all technical professionals. Um, all who are involved in all aspects of electrical, electronic, and computing fields, and all related areas of science and technology. IEEE's field of interest is very, very broad. Um, additionally, to become a member, you do not have to have a college degree. That surprises people, they don't realize that. In recent years, IEEE is positioned now more than ever to mentor those working in technology fields. That's where we're, we're positioned. That's where we should be positioned. Um, with required experience, people can join IEEE uh, without college degrees. Um, you just need five years experience. And IEEE is there to help and support those who want to become more active participants in their professions. Our members are vibrant, diverse engineering and scientific professionals uh, working across academia, industry, and government who are committed to elevating their professional images, expanding their global networks, connecting to others locally, because uh, we have uh, local um, footprints and giving back to their communities. So um, our members, uh, uh, that's what we call people who join our AAA, our members and volunteers, uh, define technology state of the art. They educate, collaborate, and innovate. They develop, um, and define industry standards, and they leverage the power of technology to advance the human condition throughout the world. What our members and volunteers do uh, throughout the globe is truly astounding. Um, IEEE brings together not only engineers, um, but technologists from the fields of computer sciences, information technology, physical sciences, uh, biological and medical sciences, mathematics, technical communications, education, uh, management, law, and policy. And what I've just recited is our field of interest. So it's very broad. So our members join um, so they can connect with others and share ideas and to obtain knowledge. So um, it's the best thing you can do for your career. It's the best thing I ever did for my career. Uh, my personal mission as an IEEE volunteer is to make IEEE the best place for technical professionals to engage. Um, IEEE strives to create a culture of inquiry um, in which professionals can bring diverse experiences, viewpoints, and perspectives together to bring forth truly wondrous accomplishments. And that's going back to uh, what I talked about at the beginning is why? Because technology matters. So who am I? So this is an overview of my career. Um, and part of who I am is the direct result of, uh, of my environment and that, that all of us are, right? Um, our past and present, um, and again, are the choices we make. Um, and what is relevant to all of you is that my background is, is defense centric, you know, the defense industry industrial complex, as you've heard that term. Um, but I've spent my career supporting some program or project associated with the Department of Defense. Um, and, uh, but I will tell you that what's important to understand is that I found IEEE kind of by accident. Um, when I was working at the 46 test wing uh, uh, around 1994, and I was leading teams of software developers, and this was when software engineering was in its infancy, um, and it was really not a defined engineering field, but IEEE was leading in the area of software engineering and defining the practice of software engineering, and they had software engineering standards, and they still do. And I found the software engineering standards and I used them to train these uh, programmers that I had who were just a bunch of hack programmers. That's what honestly was being graduated from the, the universities, people who could code, but didn't understand how to elicit requirements or document software design or test software. So it was very hard when you had, you know, large, huge software programs that you were required to, to produce. And I've, I've been responsible my whole career for software production um, to uh, get these programmers who were young programmers and then develop software products. So and that's how I found IEEE through their software standards. So anyway, that's how I got involved and I've been involved ever since. 
So I'm going to talk a little bit about the different parts of IEEE and what they might <clears throat> have to offer you. Um, some people, when they get involved, like I got involved with the Standards Association, I'm still involved with the Standards Association, but then they don't realize that IEEE is very, very big and there are other things to offer. So IEEE is <clears throat> one of the leading producers of standards in the world. Um, and as the world becomes more integrated, there's a growing need for standards to help with the connectivity. Um, and I, as I explained, I came to IEEE through standards and um, uh, IEEE SA is what we call it, Standards Association. The SA is the leading uh, standards uh, consensus building organization that nurtures, develops, and advances global standards. So uh, what makes the environment so unique um, and of value is that um, it fully adheres to the World Trade Organization's principles for international standards development. So you can see that there are, um, uh, they work with ISO and ANSI, and um, uh, there are uh, over 200 corporations that participate as well. There's also technical activities, which is, uh, these are the societies and councils that you can participate in. Um, and people are not aware of the, the range of societies and councils, I mean, societies that are uh, available. And you can see these range from broadcast society, oceanic engineering society, to uh, like the computer society. And if you're interested, you can go to the link at the, uh, at the bottom of the screen or just go online to IEEE.org and search for societies. But there are also technical councils. These are free to add to your membership and you can participate and add, uh, add these to your membership. And these are a great opportunity for uh, leadership opportunities. Uh, they have a seat on the technical activities board. Um, so I would, it would encourage you to add these to your membership as well. Technical communities are also free to join. And you can see, see the list here. And if you want to sign up for a technical community that is in your area of interest, go to IEEE.org, future directions. Uh, many opportunities for uh, continuing your professional education with IEEE. Uh, there are hundreds of hours of online uh, mobile friendly courses. Um, there's an e-learning library. Uh, they offer things like cybersecurity, ethical hacking. Um, go and see if there's something that you're interested in. Many of these are five or ten dollars uh, to take and they're they're great. They really, really will help keep you up to date on, on cutting edge uh, uh, technology. So there um, is a, uh, what they've been building is an uh, educational talent development pipeline. We're starting with STEM K through 12 uh, to engage teachers, students, parents, and volunteers. Um, and it's tri-engineering. And then, so that's uh, pre-university and then university uh, for uh, the accreditation of uh, uh, teaching programs. Um, and then also uh, with HKN, which is the Honor Society. And then um, we have professional development with our uh, learning network. So um, IEEE is centered on our members, uh, volunteers, um, and, um, and really technology. And uh, uh, as students and young professionals, uh, you're valued, your uh, participation is important, um, and every member um, I meet, every volunteer I meet, um, I value uh, your strength, your participation, um, and your commitment. Uh, I believe you're the key drivers of uh, tomorrow's innovations. You're integral to advancing technology for humanity. Um, and I want you to know that I'm personally committed to you uh, and um, your enthusiasm, your sense of camaraderie helps bolster our efforts to build strong partnerships worldwide. Um, and um, uh, let's see, I'm gonna go to the next slide. I'm trying to hurry up. So um, as I said, uh, our I'm going to directly talk to our students and young professionals who are online today. Um, you have an important role to play in IEEE. 
Um, the, one of the reasons I give this talk is that I want to encourage young professionals and students to stay engaged with IEEE, to see if there's a place um, across the breadth of IEEE about some of the things I talked about, um, a, a um, society, a council, um, see if there's somewhere that you can engage and become um, uh, engaged as a volunteer. Uh, as technology continues to reshape our world, uh, there is a place for you to become engaged in IEEE and to uh, collaborate with others to have an impact um, uh, with the mission and vision of IEEE. Um, so uh, the one thing I do want to touch on really quickly is that one of the things that IEEE made for me that was a big, a big difference for me uh, is the intrinsic soft skills. So um, I've been responsible for delivering software uh, and systems for years. And as a hiring manager, uh, the one thing that separates the good from the great, uh, especially with technical people, are the soft skills. Um, you can have the most talented programmer in the world, but if they can't talk to a customer uh, to elicit requirements or they can't talk to a customer about, uh, about the product that they need, uh, then they're not as good as the next programmer that can, right? So one thing that IEEE can do for you, uh, any association can do for you, is really develop your soft skills, right? Communication skills, teamwork, critical thinking, that type of thing. Very important. Um, and that's really what uh, working with an association, working with a volunteer organization uh, really does. And it separates the good from the great. So think about that when you're making the decision whether to stay engaged with a nonprofit or a volunteer organization. Um, so uh, I want to encourage you to uh, never stop learning. Uh, uh, look forward, stay uh, uh, engaged. Always look for uh, emerging technologies. That's a really great thing about IEEE. They seem to stay on the cutting edge. Um, uh, uh, reach out, find out about some professional development opportunities. Um, continue your education and learn something new every day. Uh, the value of IEEE membership is tremendous. Uh, uh, celebrates everybody's achievements. Um, I found it to be a very, very um, uplifting organization, especially from the peers, the members that I meet, the other volunteers that I've come to know over the years. It's just a, an uplifting organization. Um, and um, I want to thank you again for the opportunity to speak, and I wish you the best on your virtual summit uh, international conference today.